All right, what's up guys? In this video, I'm at a convenience store called Parker's and they have an app that allows you to activate the pump or turn on the gas pump from inside your car using that app. Now, this particular convenience store is not, you know, it's not nationwide. So, you know, it has to be in your area and it's called Parker's. Now, as you can see, Parker's have a lot of different, you know, gas stations within this region, but let's go to, so I'm gonna go to gas prices. And as you can see, uses your location that you can go to the nearest Parker's near you or whatever. So if I go here and click here and go to mobile payment, and I already did this just so, you know, just so I can check it out to see how it works for you guys. And click pay at pump, all right? And then it shows the store ID. And then it asks me what pump that I'm on. So I'm on pump 10, so I'm gonna type in pump 10 here. All right, click submit. It says download files, pump 10. All right, and now it's asking me from the last time I did I just put 20 bucks in so since I already put 20 bucks in I'm just gonna put in five bucks to show kind of show you guys how it works all right and then from there I just click begin purchase and then it's authorizing the pump now it's asking me for my um, pin number so I'm gonna type that in all right so once I enter my pin number Okay. So now you see it's prompting me, please begin fueling by following the instructions on the pump. So I'm gonna click OK there, and then we're gonna get out, go to the pump. Please lift nozzle, she was great. Let's take premium. Now I go back to the app and it shows me, you know, the price that I paid, well, the price it would be normally, and if you have a Parker's card, with how much the amount you save. So it looks like I saved five cents per gallon. Now the easiest way to do this, if you are in an area that has a Parker's, is to go in the store, get a Parker's member card, go ahead and sign up for that, and then come back to the app and put in all the information from your, um, from your membership to get the app, all right? And then you have a show receipt button here. I can just click show receipt and it gives me an actual receipt of my transaction and I can print the receipt at pump or I can email my receipt so if I hit print receipt at pump I can hit print and it'll print me out a receipt right from the pump that I just used not sure how how much faster this would be far as making a purchase of gas but it's definitely a cool app you know to have if you wanted to come to a Parker's you can also do an in-store purchase using the same app but just imagine if you have a favorite gas station that you always get gas from on the regular and you're able to use an app to activate the pump to get your gas I think it's a really cool feature I don't think I would use it much just because um, you know it, I don't know how much quicker that is versus getting out of the car putting my card in typing in my pin number and getting gas right at the pump versus going through all these different prompts to get gas from the app so but it's definitely a cool idea I thought that I would share I would share it with you guys if you guys do want to try it and you are in an area that has a Parker's convenience store what I suggest if you don't have a membership is going into the store, getting the Parker's card, you know, signing up and then download the app and then you will have all the credentials you need to input into the app so you can be able to, you know, get gas at the pump. You know, I heard a commercial there advertising where that, you know, you can start the pump from inside your car and then you can do just that as you can see as I demonstrated that you can actually start the pump, get gas all without swiping the card right from the app, right from the car. So hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, see you in the next video.